These are headline news for tonight. Sarawak government ready to help address teacher shortage in Sarawak. Sarawak government to announce allocation for the lapidated school development tonight. Hosting of Sukma and Para Sukma 21 benefits the hospitality industry and small traders. Kota Semarahan, the 11th location for Baton Lay in conjunction with Sukma and Para Sukma 21, Sarawak. 70% of Sarawak's Para Sukma athletes ready. Holistic and targeted approach to help empower the community. Good evening. The Sarawak Government, through the Ministry of Education, Innovation and Talent Development, Sarawak, MEITD, is ready to assist the Sarawak State Education Department in addressing the shortage of teachers in Sarawak. Sarawak Premier, Dato Patinggi Tan Sri Dr. Abang Abdul Rahman Zuhari Tun Dato Abang Openg stated that so far, primary schools have a significantly higher shortage of teaching staff compared to secondary schools. Dan saya tahu bahwa Kita masih lagi kekurangan guru. Mekot pengarah tadi menyebut kepada saya 2,430 lebih kekurangan guru. Tapi yang banyaknya adalah sekolah rendah. Sekolah menengah tinggal 153 saja. Dan kita boleh menyelesaikan masalah ini. Dan kerajaan Sarawak sekarang sama-sama bekerja sama dengan Jabatan uh, pendidikan, satunya mengenai dengan sekolah daif. He said this while speaking at the Sarawak Education Awards 2024 ceremony at the CIDB Convention Center here on Saturday. Datuk Patinggi Abang Zohari added that the Sarawak government will also address the shortage of laboratories in schools, particularly for the science, technology, engineering and mathematics STEM streams. He explained that these laboratories are essential for providing a space for students to conduct experiments and further delve into their studies, especially in a practical format. Kita nak nanggau berapa cek dan lab mungkin Sarawak akan mendulurkan untuk membina lab yang tidak ada lab. Furthermore, the Sarawak government will construct general laboratories in every division in Sarawak which can be used by students from any school to further develop science education. During the event, a total of 34 awards were presented to the teachers who have dedicated their services in Sarawak. Dr. Batinggi Abang Zuhari was also given the honour of presenting two main awards, namely the Sarawak State Exemplary Leadership 2024 and the Sarawak Exemplary Teacher 2024 Awards to Dr. Norisa Suhaili and Jau Bunyao, respectively. The Sarawak government will announce funding allocations for the development of more than 200 dilapidated schools in the state. Sarawak Premier, Dr. Patinggi Tan Sri Dr. Abang Abdul Rahman Zohari Tun Dato Abang Openg said this announcement will be made during the state-level Gawai Dayak Celebration Dinner 2024 we should be attended by Prime Minister Dato Sri Anwar Ibrahim tonight. Kemudian, malam ini saya akan mengumumkan tutupkan kerana malam ini yang berbawa kepada Menteri akan bersama di Sarawak dan ia akan berasaskan kepada persetujuan di antara kerja persetujuan dan kerja negeri Sarawak untuk kita uh, melaksanakan projek sekolah daif. Karena sekarang ini dia tak banyak lagi 200 lebih je sekolah daif yang harus kita bangunkan agak dengan kadar yang segera. He mentioned this when met by reporters after officiating the Sarawak Education Awards 2024 ceremony at the CIDB Convention Center here on Saturday. Commenting on the Rural Transformation Program RTP project allocations used in schools, Dr. Patinggi Abang Zuhari stated that these funds are not reclaimed from the federal government. He explained that the RTP allocations are sincere contributions from local representatives to be used for repairing school necessities or buildings needed 
facilities such as multipurpose halls. Tidak. RTP adalah ikhlas daripada wakil rakyat kita untuk membantu sekolah yang hanya repair saja. Bukan membangun semula. Itu hanya untuk repair. Jadi wakil rakyat kita boleh menggunakan RTP untuk membaik pulih. Dan kalau bangunan sekolah baru, itu lain. Itu di bawah apa yang saya sebutkan tadi. Therefore, he urged school management to meet with their respective representatives to request the necessary assistance for the schools. The hosting of the Malaysia Games Sukma and Parasukma 21 Sarawak 2024 is expected to benefit the hospitality industry and small traders in Sarawak. Sarawak Minister for Youth, Sports and Entrepreneur Development, Dr. Sri Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza, said that the hosting of the Sukma events in nine divisions across Sarawak could generate profits from sales for traders and the hospitality industry. Tiap-tiap atlet, pegawai, penyokong yang datang, mereka perlu tempat tinggal. Mereka perlu makan, mereka perlu pengangkutan. Sebab itu bila diadakan di semua tempat, baiknya di Miri, di Bintulu, di Muka, semuanya akan sedikit sebanyak mendapat tumbuhan. Terutama sekali usahawan-usahawan gerai. Ya. Ha. Karena kalau kita nak makan di dawan makan saja makanan-makanan yang disediakan selalunya selepas hari dua hari kita dah mau cari gerai untuk cari makanan sebab itulah gerai-gerai makanan mereka yang menjual keraf keraf tangan dan sebagainya semuanya akan mendapat manfaat spin off daripada ini termasuk hotel homestay dan sebagainya masa itu saya percaya hampir ke semua homestay Budget-budget hotel semuanya akan dipenuhi. Nah, ya. He said this when speaking to reporters after officiating the baton relay and baton handover ceremony for Sukma and Parasukma 21 Sarawak 2024 Samarahan Division at the Summer Shopping Mall premises on Saturday. Additionally, Dato Sri Abdul Karim expressed his hope that the public will visit the Sukma game venues to show their support. Daripada penyemarakan semangat itu harapan kita apabila Sukma tiba nanti para Sukma tiba rakyat akan datang ramai-ramai berkunjung ke venue-venue ke gelanggang untuk memberi sokongan sama ada kepada pasukan Sarawak ataupun pasukan-pasukan lain lah. tapi mestilah harapan saya kepada pasukan Sarawak kerana kita mau menjadi juara nah, baiknya juara kepada Sukma dan juga para Sukma untuk tahun ini for the record, the coaching division will be the final stop for the Sukma Empire Sukma 21 Sarawak 2024 Baton Relay, which will take place this Sunday. Samarahan Division has become the 11th stop for the Baton Relay in conjunction with the Malaysia Games Sukma Empire Sukma 21 Sarawak 2024. The Baton Relay event in Samarahan saw the participation of 500 participants and was held at the Summer Shopping Mall premises Kota Samarahan on Saturday. The relay flag off was officiated by Samarahan Division Resident and Chairman of the Organizing Committee for the Sukma 21 and Para Sukma 21 Sarawak 2024 Baton Relay in Samarahan, Muhammad Erwan Bahari Buja. Various programs took place starting at 7:30 a.m., beginning with an aerobic session, followed by the 3km baton relay led by three Sarawak sports icons who are native to Samarahan, former national hammer throw athlete Wong Ti Kui, former national boxing athlete Sapo Biki, and national silat athlete Sharifa Nur Halimatun Saida Wan Muhammad. The event continued with the Minister of Youth, Sports and Entrepreneur Development Sarawak, Atos Sri Abdul Karim Rahman Hamza, officiating the baton handover ceremony for Sukma 21 Sarawak presented by the three Sarawak sports icons. Sarawak athletes set to participate in the Malaysia Paragame Sukma Sarawak 2024 are now 70% ready. Sarawak Minister for Women, Early Childhood and Community Wellbeing Development, Atos Sri Fatima Abdullah, said the preparations include talent scouting, classification and training. Kita dah hampir uh, mencapai uh, um, 80, uh, no, 70% ya. 
um, persiapan atlet kita bermula dari ada dulu talent identification kemudian dari segi classifying kemudian latihan secara decentralized uh, ber, telah bermula kemudian lepas ini centralized training uh, bermula pada bulan Julai dan juga latihan pendedahan di luar negara juga telah dilakukan dan akan diteruskan bagi acara-acara tertentu She mentioned this to reporters after recording a TVS dialogue in Kuching on Friday Meanwhile, Datuk Sri Fatima stated that the Sarawak contingent aims to secure 83 gold medals in this edition of the Para Sukma. She added that Sarawak's best chances of winning gold medals are in athletics and swimming. A task force will be established to eradicate hardcore poverty in Sarawak. Sarawak Minister for Women, Early Childhood and Community Wellbeing Development, Datuk Sri Fatima Abdullah, said a holistic and targeted approach will help ensure that all segments of society benefit from development in Sarawak. Rasmi kemiskinan tegar bersasar dengan nama yang ada di dalam uh, ikhasi ini. She said this to the media after officiating the Aidu Adha Idok Dalat Oyakut 2024 charity event on Saturday. During the event, Melana communities from the three Idok districts residing in Kuching and Samarahan congregate to celebrate the occasion. And that's the English edition with me, Philip Yeo. More news can be found in our official portal, ukas.sarawak.gov.my and social media platforms, including Facebook and YouTube. Ending the UKAS bulletin with coverage of the Baton Relay event and Baton Handover Ceremony in conjunction with the Sarawak Malaysia Games Sukma and Sukma 21 Sarawak 24 held at the summer shopping mall premises on Saturday. Hashtag Saluran Informasi Rakyat. Have a good night.